Hi guys, and welcome to My Pagan Life. My name is Maya, with a J, but you can also call me Kitty Moon, and I'm here today to bring you a new video, and... Yeah, as a beginner in Wicca, I do spells, but I don't do really advanced spells, but sometimes, yeah, doing spells is really useful to me, but so I like to keep it simple, and I bet some of you also like to keep it simple, either because you're not really experienced, like me, or you simply don't have the time or money to have a lot of resources and a lot of tools. So today I'm going to show you a healing or cleansing spell, it works for the same thing, uh, that I have just experimented with one or two or three times, and it has worked extremely well for me in situations where uh, I need some healing powers or actually it also works as a kind of like courage spell as well for me at least. So uh, I'm gonna show you, I'm sorry if the lighting is bad and if the room is a little bit messy but yeah. What I have here is a few things and tools. Now I've just put these as examples. You don't need all of these. As a matter of fact you don't need any of these for that matter if that's how you want to do it, but anyway. So let's start. So what you're gonna need is a candle of sorts. Um, it can be a big candle or it can be a small candle. Now I like to use this for lighting bigger candles like this one, but you can use candles like this for a simple healing spell and it is also very practical if you're gonna bring it with you on a vacation or anything like that. But for now, I'm going to use this one so we can put this one out of the picture. So now I've got my big candle. Now it is up to you what do you want to, but actually I've used the element of water to assist me with the energy, like trying to, so yeah. Uh, now this isn't really a chalice, but it works as a chalice, so that's why I like to use it. Now as many other Wiccans and Pagans, I really make a good connection with crystals. Now I've put these three as examples as well. All of these two are quartz crystals. It is one like this one and one like this one. But this one is the one I like to use. I don't think this is a quart uh, quartz crystal. Um, I don't actually know, but I don't think so. But if you have any idea of what it might be, here it is. Uh, you can comment down below. But since I'm not going to be using these, because I like to use only one crystal, I'm going to be using this one. This, uh, I like to use this because before I got a pentacle uh, necklace, I used this as a necklace actually. I used like thread and I put it on here. But now I've used it on my altar as a like piece. So what I like to do is I take this one, I put it in front of the candle, and then, what I do next is I light the candle. Uh, now, also, I want to mention that you can also burn incense along with candle. Now, this was a little bit of a failed experiment on what I tried from a tutorial on video that I, um, a tori a tutor sorry, a tutorial on YouTube I found on incense, incense on a budget. Now, you choose that yourself, but I'm not going to do it this time because I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. Okay, so what I'm going to basically do now is I'm going to light the candle. There you go. Now, um, I do want to mention that underneath this one, sometimes I also like to take a piece of paper and write positive, uh, positivity, courage, um, a healing, and then I put this over. Now what I do is, before this, it's, it's really useful if you cleanse the crystal, I'll probably do a tutorial on that later on, but yeah, when I've cleansed the crystal, I put the crystal on top of there. Now you can choose whether you want to cast a circle or not. This is really uh, what do you prefer. So here I got the candle and I've got the chalice and then I got this one. Now as a matter of fact on on this spell I don't really say any chant or anything specific. I actually just like to stand in front of it. Now I'm not standing in front of it so that you're able to see it but when I, I just like to stand in front of it, for example, close my eyes, maybe say some words inside of me uh, that really, really fits the occasion and what the spell is for, and I just try and pay attention to the energy that flows in. Now there are a lot of chants on internet that you can use, that you can find on like pictures, and they're really great as well, but I'm just saying this so that you can find out of that yourself, because, uh, I mean, you need to experience what is best for you. And there are loads of other videos on healing spells. 
And so when you have, well, done your thing and felt the energy, what you do is you, you kind of, you thank, well, if you're using a deity, for example, um, or if you're, yeah, then you have to thank that deity, of course, and then you put out the candle, and if you've used, yeah, you might want to ground yourself whether you've drawn a circle or not. So this was a simple healing spell. I, I hope it helps. And uh, yeah, other than that, guys, next time I will be showing you my altar and my preparations for Samhain. Because Samhain is coming up, and um, yeah, it, it will be my first Samhain, and whether it's your first Samhain or not, you can join me uh, on the preparations and for what we can, yeah, prepare on our altars. So yeah, thank you for watching this video, and blessed be.